सो वी आर कंटिन्यूंग आर डिस्कशन रिगार्डिंग द मूरेज मेजोरिटी एलिमेंट वोटिंग एल्गोरथम सो एज आई टोल्ड यू दैट इन दिस एल्गोरथम वी हैव टू पार्ट्स नंबर वन इज फाइंड कैंडिडेट टू द मेजोरिटी एलिमेंट फाइंड कैंडिडेट ऑफ मेजोरिटी एलिमेंट एंड द सेकेंड स्टेप इज फॉर चेकिंग चेक वेदर दिस कैंडिडेट is majority or not is majority element or not okay now in this video we are going to check out this step by step algorithm which is the find candidate of the majority element and then we are also going to check the step by step algorithm about how this uh, checker about candidate uh, checker algorithm works which checks whether the major candidate is a majority element or not now let us look at step by step here we have two uh, values which is array a and the size of the array for demo purposes let me just take one example of an array which is having some values this array is having 4 1 4 0 4 4 4 6 4 index locations are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 So how many times four is repeating here? A total of one, two, three, four, five, six. So total of six times the element four is repeating itself. Okay. Now check out here the total size of this array is actually nine, and this is the array A. So here we are going to pass this array A, which is the array on which we are performing uh, the operation, and here we are passing the size, which is nine. Now the first step is initialize the index and count of majority element. So we have two variables. You can take these two variables as integer variables here. Number one is the majority index, which is maj underscore index, which is having the value zero, and second is count, which is having the value one. Actually, this maj underscore index is representing what element we are currently using. and then we are having this loop from here to here this loop will start from i is equal to 1 so you can see i is equal to 1 to size minus 1 if the value of size is 9 so this loop will run till i the value of i will become 8 okay then we are having if a of majority index is equal to a of i that means the value pointed by majority index is equal to the value pointed by i or not okay then we are going to do count plus plus else we are going to do count minus minus after performing these two operations uh, only one of them will be performed then we are going to perform this c operation so initially you can see the 4 is not equal to 1 because majority index is pointing 4 and second number is 1 which is not equal to 1 so this will not be executed only this will be executed which says count minus minus the value of count will become 0 okay now what we are doing is the next step if count is 0 if count is 0 then majority index is equal to i so if count is 0 that means uh, again the count is 0 so we are going to put majority index as 1 because it is equal to i and i is currently pointing to this location and then count is equal to 1 again we are going to implement count as 1 after this step again we will go back to the previous case okay now uh the value of i will become 2 that means i is now pointing to this location now you can see here this 4 and 1 they are not equal the first step 4 and 1 they are not equal so we'll execute this else statement which says count minus minus so we are going to decrement the value of count again this condition will be executed which says if count is equal to 0 then majority index is equal to i so majority index will become 2 and we again we are going to make count as 1 so uh, now majority index is pointing to this location again go to the loop so i will point to this location i is pointing to this location which is having the value as 0 now here the value is 0 and uh, this 0 is not equal to the majority index which is 4 hence we are going to decrement the value of count and uh, again we are going to make the majority index value as pointing to this location which is 3 okay next time again the value of 5 will be incremented now here we have the value which is 
and 4 is not equal to 0 this 4 is not equal to 0 hence the count value will become 0 and we are going to the, uh, make the majority index value 0.24 okay the next step this value 4 and this 4 they are equal okay every time see every time we are incrementing i because of this loop right so just follow the steps uh, performed in this pseudo code now this 4 this 4 and this 4 is equal hence we are going to increment the value of count as 2 again increment the value of i okay this 4 and this 4 are equal okay because majority index is pointing to 4 you can see this step is executing from the last two times we say a of majority index is equal to a of i then just increment the count plus plus now because these two fours are equal hence the value of count will be 3 again increment the value of i now i is pointing to this 6 and 6 and this 4 they are not equal hence the count will be decremented but this time the value of count is not 0 therefore this will not be executed again increment the value of i now we have again 4 therefore we are going to increment the value of count as 3 now this loop is finished so next is we are going to return the location of majority index so the location of majority index is 4 now you can see because count is not 0 hence uh, we found an element which may be candidate of the majority element therefore because of this lo index location we can sign a of majority index might be the majority element because because count is greater than 0 right so this en entire pseudocode we have performed step by step now the next step is check whether it is a majority element or not so till now we have implemented find the candidate of the majority so the next step was to print majority next step is if candidate is a majority that is it appears more than n by 2 times print the candidate else print no majority element found so what we are going to do is here in the previous case in the entire array as you can see in the previous case here uh, in this entire array we found out that 4 is a majority element so what we will do is we will write a program or pseudocode for this we can just simply write a, a pseudocode which says print let me just write it here which says print majority or just check majority so what we can do is uh, we can take this array as input we can take the total size of the array and thirdly we will take the index of the majority element so index of the majority element is uh, let us say index okay now we can take a loop we can write a for loop which will start from the first location this location till the end and which will count up the total number of appearances of the majority element so we will take a variable which is count and initially this count variable is having the value 0 so what we are going to do for i is equal to 0 to uh, size minus 1 for i is equal to 0 to size minus 1 every time we find this majority element every time we find, find this majority element we have to increment the value of count so let us say we store this index uh, int majority is equal to a of index okay this is what we can do a of index that means we store the value of majority here and if a of i is equal to majority then count plus plus this is a simple follow very simple follow and then we can see if count is greater than n by 2 hence print candidate of the majority else print no majority element exists okay this is a very simple step that we can take uh, to print this majority candidate okay now you can see finding the majority element using the Murray's voting algorithm is pretty simple comparatively and secondly the time and space complexity is very easy so the time complexity of the Murray voting algorithm will be order of n to find the candidate of the majority plus order of n to check whether it is a majority element or not 
and to print whether this measured element or not so time complexity will be order of n and the space complexity of the Moore's voting algorithm will be order of 1 because we are not using any extra space don't worry we'll come to the programs we'll write the program to uh, for the Moore's voting algorithm also now the next step uh, let us look at one more solution to solve this problem and that solution will be by using the hash tables or you can say hashing okay 